Yay. Except for except for my other language. <laughs> that won't be important. I gotta turn that down. So right now. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Trying to find the other. Ah, oh, that's not my token. That's a. I don't have control over my token. So let me replace this. Uh, me, maniac. Can you remove this? I mean, I've set my token there instead. Thank you. Yep. Uh, Gibbons is in the corner playing as maracas, uh, but, like doing vocals about the the pantheon of the Iridian gods. I guess there are a couple coins being thrown at me. Elin case in front of him that is closed, uh, and case is a small piece of uh, paper that is like folded over, and on that paper it says gods. Touring now. <laughs> uh, Mario, hearing this music, is going to turn to Yoshi and say, Oh, would you listen to that? They've got some music playing. Let's go listen. Yes. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> is it? Fuck it. I'm rolling with it. It's going to fuck it. It's going to fuck my voice, but let's do it. <laughs> They see Gibbons with two mar with one maraca in each hand. Gibbons is a tall young male. Uh, well, not super tall. He's like six foot. He looks like a kind of a blondish human. He is in light blue, uh, somewhat religious robes that are dirty at the bottom. Uh, part at the back that would normally be sort of dragging along the ground has been pulled upwards toward his waist and tied around his waist tired but he sings and he's smiling he's happy and although there are no uh the, the violin case isn't open there are a few coins scattered around and he's singing about his gods
Gibbon switches somewhat right in, in, in step with the way he was singing to uh, some songs about Hector, god of conquest, and Perionius, god of honor. Uh, and he, he looks at the, the dragonborn and the fucking Mario is supposed to be. <laughs> I forgot. Half dwarf. And then the half dwarf are talking about half brothers and conquest. Uh, Cal the Ghost is going to walk over there and see what the commotion's all about. That's really me. good. So, <laughs> I'm doing okay. I was wondering if you had any, uh, say, some spaghetti or some lasagna. Why, well, yes, they are. You know it. Well, uh, if we could suddenly use something to eat, uh, Yoshi, what do you feel like? Meat. Mm -hmm. uh, sure, why not? How much? Isn't that a bit much? <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> it's gonna fuck my voice if I do that, so I'm gonna talk normal. Yeah. Yeah. You, you could just speak normally. Yeah, I'm gonna speak normally because fuck my voice. Bless you! <laughs> Doesn't Yoshi only say like two things? Bless you! You don't need character mm -hmm. development. Uh, Isn't silver a bit much? Uh, what I kind of meat is it? Uh, can I can I incite this guy to see if he's telling the truth? Well, eh, why not? Uh, we haven't eaten in a few hours now. Uh, how, what do I, how do I pay him silver if I've only got gold? Oh, okay. And I just hand him one gold. Uh, Yoshi, how many would you want? Uh, two. All right, two for him and two for me, please. Hmm. 
Very nice. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, and what is your dog's name? Uh, what does the dog look like? Uh, Mario is going to walk over to the dog and attempt to pet it. Uh, never, never mind then. I'll, I'll just, I'll just wave at the dog. <laughs> Hello, doggy. <laughs> Well, that's all right. And I thank you for your meat. Uh, okay. Okay, so I didn't add any. Um, uh oh. What about background? Like if it says a pouch of so or so. Cool. So do we add the 10 on top of that? Okay. Okay. Okay, so no gold extra. Got it. Uh, Gibbons kind of packs his, grabs his stuff, snatches a couple coins off the ground, and starts walking this way. Roger. Uh, Caligos is going to stop, uh, is going to uh, try to get into his way and say, Hello, sir. Wonderful weather we're having. Not knowing any of this is happening, Mario's going to try one of his kebabs. <laughs> So, what's your business with this man over here? From from the other side of you, Gibbon says, we have no business, and tries to move past you and, like, duck around the corner over here. Hmm. I'm done with I'm done with Brian. <laughs> Unhand me, I yell. I am an adult. Leave me be. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Would you like my assistance? With these and income poop? Yes. 
Caligos is going to put his hand on the guy's shoulder and apply some pressure. <laughs> some pressure, pressure. on each other. Just, just a full on spot. <laughs> like, just go straight for that pressure point. Yeah, it just knocks him out. <laughs> he slumps. Mario is just checking these guys out to see if they have any. Uh, Gibbons kind of does a let me go and like tries to pull backwards harshly. That. Why do I have a plus one in there? Plus one. I should just. Is he asking Gibbons that? I did leave, but it was of my own volition, and I am mentally sound. I will not stand for this! Uh, Gibbons yells for help. Help! These men are trying to take me away! been denied my freedom to play instruments. Uh. They at won't let me play my music. At this point, Mario is going to walk up to them and say, Excuse me, it really seems like this man does not want to go with you. I would suggest you let him go. Uh... Persuasion. I'm, I'm not trying to start a fight here. Eh. Uh, Gibbons sort of hisses at them in Celestial and uh, gives Mario a, a nod and fellow right here, I forget his name. Caligos. Caligos and starts to kind of shuffle away. All right. Uh, there. Okay. I'm looking for like a vendor that's just kind of empty, like they're seeing, looking at all the commotion, so I can make my way over. Yeah, I'm gonna like get down and like try to peek in this tent right here. I 
I'm not looking to steal any ale today. <laughs> so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna check this tent, I guess. <laughs> yeah, this one's open. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crawl towards those. <laughs> yep. Alright. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay. General dexterity. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I already have that down. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, not a saving throw. Sorry. Okay, so I'm not even trying to be stealthy anymore. I'm just gonna start grabbing as many vials as I can <laughs> that have things in them. Pretty much, I'm running now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I won't. That was, wasn't as hard as I expected. They seem very nonplussed about being stolen from. <laughs> I'm a... I'm gonna keep moving. Uh, Mario's is just gonna look over to Gibbons and say, Are you alright, my friend? Uh, Gibbons looks visibly shaken. The, you know, he's still got the dirty robes on. He says, I think so. I don't think they're ever going to stop following me. I have to get out of this city, too. I thought I could be here faster, but they found me. Don't worry. Don't worry. He gives the man a, a smile. Gibbons is handsome, and his smile is very nice. I'll be fine. He tries to walk past this guy. Really? You do that for me? Yeah, yes, of course. I'll play anything for you. Yes. Yes, I accept. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, that was a nice of them. Uh, just... Dis despite the, uh, the recent events, Gilligan, or Gibbons has, uh, been comforted by this old man and his his promise of nothing in return, nothing significant anyways, and he, he looks relieved back at Mario and Yoshi, and uh, 
although he doesn't know their names yet. And he thanks each of them for their help. Uh, Gibbons offers each of you a blessing for your assistance. Do you accept? Uh, Yoshi nods and says, Blessing, one of your customs. Um, why All right. Uh, unless any of you have any qualms, uh, Gibbons says a few words in Celestial and a few more in Primordial, and each of you feels a little bit capable. For the next ten minutes... No, uh, kind of. For the next ten minutes, they can add a D4 to one ability check. It's not like a constant thing. You can pick one. Learn attack roll. So he's gonna walk out from this little narrow area, nod to the guy in front, and just kind of go around him, trying to block view, do everything he can to get away. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so let me. All right. Nine. Uh. All right. Okay, so that's another <laughs> acrobatics. 17. Oh, sorry, I was muted. Yeah, I'm also trying to grab him. Okay. Is that another acrobatics show? Oh, no. Or did that come? Okay. 18. Okay. Gotta keep moving this way. <laughs> Alright, is this a table or is that a carpet? Okay, let's not mess with this. Uh, what's this? I, okay, I want to do it. Alright, so I'm gonna run kind of around the dog this way. I'm heading for this corner. So I'm gonna try and climb up this barrel and onto this thing, and onto the roof. <laughs> okay, twenty-one, thirteen, twenty. That one already. <laughs> Did I succeed? Hmm. So I'm gonna try again and just leap up onto the roof this time without using the gutter. <laughs> like, jump and reach over. That's a 23. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I, Gibbons has exactly zero desire to attract more attention to himself. <laughs> uh, Mario is just watching this guy's jumping technique and critiquing it as he goes along. Uh, Kalios is going to go buy a kebab. Yeah. Vendor doesn't give a fuck. Huh. Nothing of consequence. I was hoping you'd say what it was so I know what I stole. <laughs> uh. Anyway, I have too much pride to just give him back stuff. So. Um, I'm dropping a bag of ball bearings. <laughs> Is Felix Batman or something? Not that way. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna use my cunning action to double dash. <laughs> I'm gonna make my way up this way. Past the people. Oh, yeah, because then. I just slip on my own ball bearings and I run away. <laughs> 17. What then? I'm gonna try to climb off this guy onto this person, <laughs> and then off of that person. <laughs> I'm just fifteen. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'm gonna start running again. <laughs> Somebody play the Benny Hill theme. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just covered in ball bearings. Packet sand. Oh, I wish. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. I doubt that you have anything sweet to eat, so, uh, I saw some people order some kebabs from you earlier. How much are they? Hmm. How much do you want for this donut? Okay, I will buy it from you. And then, uh, Caligos is going to cast Bonfire at his at this guy's feet. Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> Wait, what? What does that do? <laughs> what? Who are you fight. casting this at? On me? Uh, the thief who's running away. Oh, a deck saving throw. Alright. Well. Okay.
Okay. Fifteen. Ouchie. Nice. Well, I tried to stop the thief. <laughs> I'm gonna head for that back alley. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of place. Is there a guild around here that has a bounty on that place? Golden Parachin. Why, thank you, sir. I have to ask, though. Which direction is that in? Thank you. Have a nice day. Uh, Mario is going to move over to Yoshi and whisper to him. I do not believe the princess is here. Did King Agarant give you any indications to where she might be? No, all he said is that he sent her over the seas to here. So we've got to search an entire country for a princess. We're going to need some help to do this. Yes, I agree. Hmm. I wonder if there's anybody, like any, uh, what did they call it, a guild in town that could help us? I think the, could I hear the, uh, could I hear Wheaton talking to the Calio? I think the merchant over there mentioned something about one of the inn. Uh, um, then we don't know where a guild would be. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, apparently, the Golden Parish Inn, that was uh, a good place to look for a guild. We could perhaps go there. We'll probably need some money if we're going to try and hire anyone. Mm, that's a good point. Unfortunately, they don't have gold coins just floating around all over the place here. Yes. This is going to be a problem. Yeah, well, I'm sure we'll figure it out. I'm going to start moving towards Wheaton. Oh, wait, is this a dead end or does it go further up? Oh, I see. Oh, this stuff's still going on. Hmm. 13. <laughs> I not even see this in the corner. Hmm. Well, this didn't end up what I expected.
Hmm. All right. So I pull out the vials, raise up my hands. I drop one, but hold the rest. Of course. Can I, like, try to hide one? <laughs> Okay. What if I have... What? Alright, what if I have a skill called Subtle Interaction where I have advantage on Sleight of Hand to conceal? Okay. To conceal items? I guess Juan has been palm of hand, I don't know if it is. Okay, so deception twenty-three. <laughs> 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 I would have finally got a nat one. Wow, making use of your ability already. I like it. Thanks. Absolutely. Roll! <laughs> Ten. Uh. Thou shalt not one. Wait, wait, what did you say? I'm sorry. Well, oh, sorry. What's he asking you to change my mind about? Of course not. Hmm. <laughs> but that gets all the. All right, I'm gonna try to conceal it on my person, <laughs> like really well. At... Slide of him. All right. Oh wait, no, 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 I said like I, I dropped one on purpose to let it break and then I held up the rest. That's what I meant when I said dropped one. That was to distract them. I thought that was like a threat, like a fucking rant. I'm like, I'll do it! Don't bring me No, I just you. dropped one on the concrete to break it. And then handed out the rest except for one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't trying to say I only had w one. No, no. Dropped one, held on to one, gave him three. <laughs> Red is good. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, as he's walking off, I kind of imitate his voice, stare to trouble. 
I didn't see a perception check. <laughs> I mean, that's a very subjective thing. Yeah, uh, you just wait. I'll get you yet. Who aren't ruining it yet? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Uh, yeah, Mario's just gonna walk up to uh, Wheaton. This guy's name is. Yeah, he's gonna walk up to Wheaton and say, uh, "Hey, do you have any more of those kebabs for the road?" Yoshi, do you want any more? Uh, no, I should be fine with what I've got. Uh, Alright, I'll take, uh, I'll just take two more. One silver, here you go. Uh, Yoshi walks up and kind of inspects what he's got. Do you have anything... No, no, go on. Do you have anything for a shield? Hmm. I don't think that would work very well. Can uh, much, roll much it on? Yes, that would be uh, slightly too much for me. Do you have anything more along the lines of one gold? Last I checked, pastries are not very good for defense. Calicos is going to ask, what does this ring do? Can I roll Arcana to see what the description is or like something? If, if it's actually magical? Well, once we get the money, or at least I will, I'll come back here. And I hope you still have it by then. Mario's just stuffing his face with a kebab. No, we'll go. Thank you. He was kind of just trying to listen when he heard about the ring. What gave you that impression? Was that his name? Apologies, I normally don't steal for people with H in their name. Hmm. 
Mario, realizing that Yoshi has an H in his name and he doesn't, he puts his hand on his coin purse. <laughs> What quote? I don't normally steal from people with blank in their name. <laughs> then I just won't be caught. Who's Wheaton? Is it normal for you to talk about yourself in third person? Hmm. Sure. Uh, which one of them was like asking a lot about the ring? Okay, thank you. Well, I will head over to the tavern to collect the bounty so I can go and destroy those bandits you were talking about earlier. Bandits? My kind. I'm only three of those. <laughs> he only said three. I thought he said four. Thieves, murderers, rapists, the worst scum of society. Uh, two then. <laughs> <laughs> that would be four if you count the worst scum. There were four. He said, uh, "Thieves, bandits, scum." But the worst scum of society being a separate category. That's four. So three. If you take yeah, it how it's actually intended, you're three out of three, buddy. <laughs> no, 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 I'm three out of four. <laughs> so he's. Hmm. Either way, I think we should kill him. <laughs> he is the worst scum of society, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this having piqued his interest, Mario's gonna ask uh, Wheaton. Hmm. So, people pay other people around here to deal with criminals? Are you saying there are things of value there? Of course not. The, we all know. The, uh, would people outside of the... Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. Taken down by grungs, right? Uh, <clears throat> the grungs don't exist in this world. My name's Amario. Felix. <laughs> uh, 
I am the arch wizard known as Caligos. Pleasure to meet you. Yoshi. People seek fear. <laughs> I have a question, Mr. Wheaton. Uh, are there any laws here that seem less desirable than would be inside other countries? <sighs> what would give you that impression? I was just wondering if you can inform these people who do not seem to be natives about the laws and such of this country. I understand the laws. <laughs> <laughs> Man, don't do that. That's Pat's opinion. Aye. So, where would this uh, temple, you say, be, if someone was wanting to go there? Hmm. All right. Well, considering I'm this man, shouldn't be much trouble. <laughs> I sound like a small Italian plumber. <laughs> well, Mr. Wheaton, I bid you a good day. I will head over to the tavern for now. I bid you adieu. Thank you so, again for the kebabs. I may come back later for some more. I'm gonna kind of follow after Yoshi. Mara just walks away sadly at the thought of there being no more kebabs. Uh, Yoshi shoots the occasional glare back at Felix. <laughs> He's yeah, you know, keeping his hand cool. very tightly on his coin purse. So I heard you were interested in that ring, you know, uh, a thousand gold's a lot of money. Maybe easier to acquire it another way. Laws exist for a reason. To be broken. That is not the reason. So you're trying to tell me I've been doing it wrong all this time. <laughs> yes. I mean, the better you understand the laws, the easier they are to break. I find breaking laws tends to go badly. Well, that's why I'm here. Well, in our case, it depends on who's making the laws, really. Uh, during all this time that they've been conversing, Gibbons has is unfamiliar with the city but is slinking along to his best ability through the alleys towards the north oh i have well that, that plays just fine he knows the general orientation of the land and he's shooting for landmarks spires and monuments whatever he knows is to the north He's taking the back roads and he's using those things to guide him as 
he peers across these buildings and things, and he's slinking towards the tavern. Hey, Guyoshi, maybe they have some shields here for you. <laughs> maybe uh, they have some more? Maybe they have some shields here for you. Can I roll history to see what the coat of arms is? A new shield would be good. Say the golden parish on it anywhere? Uh, huh. Gibbons is gonna look towards the golden parish and try to find a back entrance. Twelve. Hmm. Gibbons is going to go back towards the front entrance and kind of hang around in as sh inconspicuous a corner as he can find, watching the front door. Not super good at those. Yeah, yeah, Are there any, like, games going on, card games or such? I'm gonna make my way over. Yeah, I'm gonna make my way over to, like, one of those groups, kind of talk my way into the group. Uh, I believe it was me. Caligos is going to go to the bartender and say, Hello, my good sir. How's your day been? Uh, I would like to know about any information for where I can go and deal with these bandits I heard of. Thank you. I'm not unkindly enough to not buy a drink before I leave. So how, what are your prices? Give me something that can make me get drunk. It's been a while since that happened. He hands you a gold. No worries. Have a nice day. The 
just lose somebody? Uh. Uh, bird. 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 Mayablo and no Ingle. Uh, yeah, Mario is also going to walk up to the to the gnome woman and say, "Hello there. How are you?" We're doing pretty good. Uh, we just come in from uh, a, a faraway place. It's been a long journey. We were we were wondering if you knew um, which places uh, we're, we're new here. You see, so we're trying to figure out the places people most likely go when they're not, they're not from this land. Um, we're looking for, uh, Yoshi, what do you think we're looking for? We're looking for places that are reasonably nice to stay in, in the long term. Uh... Excellent. Go on, Mario. Uh, I, I was thinking more along the lines of, uh, say, several years, possibly. Well, I'm, I'm like I said, we're new here, and we're we're trying to figure out a nice place that we may uh, set down roots. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, sorry, uh, possess? I, uh, I think gore sounds good. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's a, that's a good place we could start. Uh, thank you for that. Princesses? Definitely gore. Yes! <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll definitely keep that in mind. Thank you. Oh, before we leave, uh, Yoshi, did you want anything to drink? Yes. Um, what beer do you have? What's your best? Your best ale. Ale. Hmm. This does sound good. But two gold is a bit much. Is there a smaller cup? I'm after us. You only serve bucket. Ah. Uh, what do you uh, say, Yoshi? It's worth trying. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, Mario will put down two gold for his own. Yeah, yeah. What? What? <laughs> How old are you? Oh shit, sure, oh, dude. Sorry. I thought you were older than that. You're youngin'. Damn kids. I'm... That's all right. I didn't have a drink until I was like quite old, and I lived in fucking. Anyway. I don't drink any. I don't drink any anymore. You're pretty regularly, and I'm only nineteen. 
Well, I've, I've never I was drunk. probably 14 when I had my first beer. Yeah, but you're you're yeah. from England. Yeah. They they don't they don't give a in shit if you get drunk in England. <laughs> I've never smoked a marijuana's in my life. And I'm not joking. Okay, uh, back on back. Yeah, that Well, Yoshi, here's to our, um, our quest. We're trying to find an old friend. It's worth trying. <laughs> that moment when well with nothing to worry about I have nothing to fear obviously uh, is patient but it's been 10 minutes and he's tired very tired and uh, he's apparently not patient enough so perhaps he dozes off in the corner whatever happens it's like it's been a while hasn't it well they're not doing a very good job of it. Gibbons goes inside. Fourteen? Uh, Gibbons cautiously and somewhat delicately approaches the, the table that this old man is staying at. Comes up behind him. And Gibbons responds and kind of like, uh, he does like the downward hand motion where he's like quiet. He's like, yes. All right. Just... I see. Yes, 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 of course. How could I not? What should I play? Anything. Anything at all. Right. I know fun hymns. Yes. Yes, of course. I... <laughs> yes, my hymns are very fun. Yes, of course. Uh, yeah, I have proficiency in the playing of cards. Yeah, I'm gonna sit down with them. Introduce myself. Set my hat on the table. I'm Felix. I shake. I shake his hand. I've, I've had a few games myself. I throw out two gold. Yeah. I have a grin on my face.
Uh, do I roll my playing cards pool proficiency? <laughs> or... I think they're 52. Uh, because it's uh, 26, because 13 of each card. It's 13 of each uh, type, so 52. Throwing three of their silver. <laughs> oh. Can I attempt to cheat <laughs> in any way? <laughs> okay, fifteen. Okay. Works for me. All So you said my next card, like after the next round, is gonna be it. Man, this just might not be my game. But is no one willing to? Is no one willing to bid higher? I'm saying this out loud, like as my character. I see. You know anyone in here who is? I say throwing in four silver. How do I get up there? All right. Uh, so yeah, I'm throwing in four silver in in this round. Sounds fine to me. Throw in five. Mm -hmm. All right. Five. Oops. Two. Uh, yeah. Got it. Well, <laughs> not as nice as I was hoping. Hmm. I put it back. <laughs> <laughs> I grab my two gold before he can grab the grab it. Let me try to. Okay. 
10. <laughs> I would get up from their table. They're very rude people. Uh, okay. Worth it. Uh, I was heading upstairs, but first, do I see any shady individuals? Okay, I'm going to head upstairs then. Do I see any shady individuals up here, or I'm guessing? Like, do they look any similar to the ones that I saw earlier, or no? I'm going to uh, go and read the board. Strange. Is there any receptionist or something like that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go up and read it. I can help. All right, I'll... All right, I'll, I'll try it since you can give me advantage. <laughs> it makes no difference. Why don't I let you make rolls? I don't know. Why do you? <laughs> and you're about to talk. Maybe it's code. I, I don't think the king would be that uh, that straightforward with it. Well, you never know. The Cooper's agents could be watching us. The Cooper agents could be watching us. We never know. Do we see anybody around that looks anything like a Koopa? I, th I think we're fine. 
Okay, if if you think so. Uh, is Caligo still there? Uh, Mario's going to turn to him and say, "So you're uh, you're planning to go to that uh, to those ruins? Yes. Yes, I am. It seems that there isn't a job open for here, which is strange." Well, uh, my friend here and I, we're looking to uh, also maybe make some gold, so if you would like any help, we'd be more than happy to assist you. I'll be glad to have your help. Thank you. Oh, no, don't mention it. My name's Mario, by the way. He's, he's got a short memory. Mario, that's a nice name. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. And this is my friend, oh, Yoshi. Hello, Yoshi. Hi. Um, so I feel like I didn't give the right impression to these people, so I'm going to head over to the bar top, and I'm going to ask how much... It would cost to buy everyone on this floor a drink. Uh, maybe one up from that. And for the cheapest. <laughs> hmm. I think I'll just take three drinks. <laughs> uh, something average. Each. All right, I give her three gold. Okay, I'm gonna walk back over to that table and hand out drinks to everyone and apologize. I'm not looking to play, I'm just looking to make amends. God damn rogues. Both are a one. Sixteen. I'm not sitting with him. I head off. I catch it. Okay, yeah, I catch it. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, Gibbons looks out of him. He's he's nervous. <clears throat> he clears his throat and uh, <sighs> yeah, brother, a D10. Damn, son. Uh, I'll be using all this one for sure. Alright, so Gibbons takes a moment to prepare himself. He stretches his arm uh, out in front of him. One maraca in either hand. He gives the right one a quick rattle. Right chorus follows him with like a brief thing. There's a pause. He gives the. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 
So he gives the he gives the right chorus a quick. There's like a rattle of rice in these maracas from the right side. Hopefully, the right side follows along with the pizzazz of their own. Oz. And there's a from the left side, and hopefully, they follow along the same suit. And Oh wait. I should have had something prepared for this, but music changed to this. Now I do like a fucking Maracas music. <laughs> I got you, fam. I love Yoshi's <laughs> recommendations. Mario is going to start doing some, like, jumps and flips and things to the music. Per per performance. Uh, I was hoping it would be acrobatics. Okay, good. I'll add that 1d10 to that. Wait, I can use after, right? Cardic mm -hmm. inspiration, you can take afterwards. Bardic, no, I mean, like, Bardic Inspiration you can pick after you see the roll, right? Yeah. Sixteen! Yeah, I'll take I think it could be after you see the roll. Yeah. Well, I can see the roll. Okay, sixteen, that's a good enough. I can... Yes. Yeah, after the roll, before you know what happens. Sixteen, good enough for me. That one. Gibbons is enthralled by the applause. Thank you, thank you. Yoshi. Mm -hmm. 22. Um, Yoshi's gonna kind of walk over to where they are and place himself in between them and uh, Gibbon. Oh, okay. Uh, Yoshi's gonna move towards the stage. He's probably quite noticeable because he is not dancing. Uh, I've had a nat one. I don't notice you at all. I am fully enthralled upon oh. the stage. My performance is the only thing that is going to my mind. Yeah, Mario is going to follow Yoshi. Yaha! You got it. Thirteen. From the coins? <laughs> Gold is heavy, dude. That's a problem I'd like to have. Make it's, it hail. It's not like quarters that are made out of mostly tin. Gold is really heavy. Uh, Gibbons... It, 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 like, the expression changes in a moment from free and happiness to, like, a blank stare and panic. And in almost, like, a reactionary thing, he 
jumps from the edge of the stage into the crowd. <laughs> they just let him drop to the floor. Twenty one. I'm cracked, serpent baby. It's towards the exit. Uh, he he tries to just take off towards the towards the end. Like he's got his like hat full of coins. Like he's got his his maracas in his hands. Okay, whatever. Got his cachetas in his hand. Uh, Caligos is going to chug the drink that she, he was given and then give back the drink to the bartender. Um, Yoshi, seeing what's happening, is gonna. Grab that he left the hat and the maracas, right? Maracas are in my hand. Uh, the hat okay. is on the ground. The coins probably littered on the stage. Yoshi's gonna kind of swipe everything into the hat and kind of carry it towards the exit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gibbons uh, is sort of like, uh, for lack of a better word, backstroking through the ground <laughs> with his eyes like solidly fixated on these two or three cloaked figures that have appeared behind, you know, peeking around the uh, edges. Uh, the look on his face is not one of happiness. And I'm sure the crowd is raptured, but Gibbons is very focused on these. And he is the, uh, yeah, reaching the back of the stage, or back of the crowd, and he is going to take off out of the tavern and, like, around the nearest corner. Um, who? Can Caligo still see, uh, uh, can, like, the party still see Gibbs? Caligos is going to follow Gibbs to see what the commotion's about. Uh, Felix sees like a lot of people kind of going with Gibbs, and he doesn't want to get left behind when they go to the ruins, so he's kind of following after. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Yoshi's got his hat, so. Yeah. I need to set up my health and stuff. While you set stuff up, I will be right back. Cool. Alright. Okie dokie. 30 minutes. Oh, I heard 30 for some reason. <laughs> well, anyway, um, during this break, I just want everybody's input. Is the voice getting on your nerves? No, not at all. No. Fair point. Yeah, we're doing fantastic. Yeah. I just I just want to make sure I'm not that guy. We're talking about <laughs> some serious shade being thrown around here. I am. Yep, yep. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. 
it's it's dyed concrete. So I'm assuming I'm assuming hanging around the tavern a little bit didn't heal that five damage. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> yeah. Figured. Alright guys, let's spell a word. <laughs> Mine's in a relationship. Alright. Okay, but now I gotta go pee. And now the other fellow has to go pee. <laughs> Hey, dude, I just, you know, fucking, I've been waiting for like a while and it's like, ah! <laughs> no, to go pee. <laughs> I was like waiting for a break and it was like, fuck it, we're doing it. I will just break. <laughs> Their fellow didn't. That was why I left. So we I was like all... trying to read the, the situation. I was like, can I, can I, can I go? Can I go? And I was like, I couldn't fucking tell. You're not allowed to get a oh. bottle. I'm gonna be like, are you there? Are you there? Are you there? It's like, ah. I'm fucking loving this. I'm I'm having a great time. What? What chat is it in? Oh. Oh. It's about to say downtown. There he is. <laughs> what the fuck? This is like so far out of the character role. It's not even funny. Uh, so just for cl cl clarification, when you said uh, you recognize his voice, we are thinking of the same gentleman. Uh. Speaking of which, can you make a token so I can uh, place the or uh, place the thing for fireball and uh, for bonfire? Would you sure. You want me to import my fire token that I made specifically for flaming sphere and for, and bonfire? I mean, I drew it in MS Paint, but it's glorious, and everybody knows what it is. Uh, where's the place that? Yeah, I can move it. Uh, I exported a flaming sphere server. If you want to use that, you can. Flaming sphere, I exported it. That's a I don't have a sphere. 
I was just using it like like he wants to use it for bonfire because I I generally use it for bonfire a lot of the time. No. Yes. I apologize for breaking things up. Uh, did he say anything? Refresh me on that. Uh, Gibbons catches his arm, turns to him, and hisses. <clears throat> My freedom, you know what I am. Get away from me. Oh boy. Intent. Uh, you still have the original token selected. Also, if you just roll initiative for them, um, there you don't need to add them in manually onto the initiative tracker. Uh, okay. Oof. Uh, my wisdom saves are not very good. Um, fourteen. gonna turn towards Brian and kind of hiss a word of venom to him in Primordial as well as these two gentlemen right here all gain Bane they do not make saves it is just a no it's a charisma save oh it is the save okay but yes they make charisma saves Uh, DC is 15, yeah. 
Wait, eight plus proficiency plus so fourteen. Brian, the leftmost and the bottommost. What is with the... I'm cursed with initiative. Somewhat scrot also equally scrotty arm apparently. <laughs> you squandered my gift. No sir. Makes a check. We both make checks. Or acrobatics. I make an acrobatics or an athletics. He has to make an athletics. Thirteen would hit. Gibbons is not accustomed to being stabbed. Oh, that that would make me uh make this thingy. Uh, Bane is dropped from. I did. And at everything is a road. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, then Brian will kind of duck, swoop, and dash the way he best he can, and very much disengage from this swarm of people surrounding him. Um. Apparently somebody forgot to roll initiative. Yeah, that seems fair enough. Uh, let's go back towards what was his name, and let's r da let's disengage and run back towards the tavern where Gilligan was so kind. Like burst through the through the door and. You know, whatever commotion was happening outside, he is he is very much out of there. Uh, uh, yes, exactly. And as he's doing that, he does Yoshi do like people do people's eyes follow him? He's. look at the guy running past them. Alright, well, uh, Yoshi, I'm just gonna fucking force this. Yoshi, as 
Gibbons is running past you. He gives you a, a kind of a coy smile and a wink. Vision. <laughs> uh, it's a D6. And that is his turn. Caligos is going to assume that there are non-friendlies outside, so he's going to walk, and cast this. Uh, he crushes in his hand. Suckle. All right, Mario is going to run up to uh, which ones are the ones that are asleep? Two in the line. All right, he is going to run up to here, and then one on each guy. Waha! Waha! Uh, no, it's an unarmed strike followed by an unarmed strike. Uh. I mean, it's in the martial arts thing. If you make an unarmed strike or a, an attack with a simple weapon, you can make an unarmed strike as a bonus action. But you, ain't, you haven't lived till you've monked, man. So, wha-bam, wha-bam. Uh, so roll him again. All right. Well, they don't uh, go down like Goombas, but uh, it still works. Uh, Yoshi is going to charge to um, attack this guy who's just been shot. Starting off strong. Damn, that's good damage as well. 
damn. Good. And then uh, using some more movement, you know, she's going to move to there and make a shield bash on Brian. In the post athletics check, uh, it's essentially the same move. Grab. It's an athletics check, I've just set it up as an attack because, you know, plan. Um, he will go... Yeah, he'll go prone. Uh, no, it's a it's a grapple check, essentially, so he responds with athletics or acrobatics. Yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't see the roll. Yeah. Uh, the sequence of events has been nothing short of stunning. Uh, Gibbons has been walked outside. Somewhat panic. I've met outside with even more panic and then dash back in and in a slew of brutal combat, which uh, hopefully the door has mostly averted. Several people have been murdered. Uh, it does anything. <laughs> uh, Caligos is going to walk over and then cast this let's go with Oop. yeah in front of him actually so it's like right there right there all right mario is there's enough room to stand right here right all right mario is just gonna Wah! over here and seeing as how this guy's already on fire uh nope that is produce flame hell yeah man Magic Initiate. Does that hit? Uh, 
Ah, well, I haven't had a lot of time to practice with this. Uh, Yoshi's going to charge up. So the wording of Shield Bash is when you take the attack action, you can use a bonus action to do it. Do I have to make the attack first, or...? Okay, so... Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, no, that's just not gonna work. Oh, it does work. <laughs> um. Um, I'm gonna use the rest of my movement to move up to that, and yeah, that. Oh no. <laughs> Hello, Tito. Did I just paralyze that guy? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh no! Hmm. I don't remember that from the games. I mean, I, I, did, I did slam down a spinal cord, so it makes sense. Uh, Gibbons is gonna come over and with a touch, his sort of like an aura radiates around him as he staggers over to this paralyzed individual upon the waist and he gives him a healing brought upon his celestial power. He gains it, numerically two hit points, but Caligos is going to pick him up by the shirt and then proceed to intimidate him and say, Where did your boss go? Uh, what? <laughs> I was just trying to leave. I was just trying. I just wanted to play my music. <laughs> well, this man was attacked, and me and my compatriots helped him. And I, I may have accidentally paralyzed this guy. <laughs> I don't understand.
I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't mean to. I didn't. I didn't think I'd bring. I didn't think they'd come. I didn't know. I, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Would you like to take care of this person? And then Caligus just tosses the uh, guy who he has holed up at the archer's feet. He goes to the room, kind of muttering to himself, his eyes darting at every slip of the shadows along the way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Yoshi's going to clean his sword off on the way past the body. He's just kind of wiping it off on them and then start kind of inspecting the front of his shield. Uh, also, I end uh, concentration on bonfire. Just use your normal voice, man. I mean, we were only trying to help. Gibbons? Uh... Is, like, is this discussion, like, one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah. So what's the reason why he wants him out of town? So you want to throw him to the dogs? Uh, given sort of out of reflex, if nothing else, just handed to him, his eyes uh, clearly do not register what is being put in his hands, and he is uh, uh, the the his eyes are darting towards each of the figures in the room. Of uh. It's the word I'm looking for. Now, there's not a lot of complex thought going behind these eyes. It's it's pure instinct, like just terror. Like a thousand yard stare. A lot of higher processing going on. Response. <laughs> Can you give us a Can you give us a tent so we can get on our way? A tent. How else are we supposed to survive outside the town?
Well, that's all right. We were getting ready to go out and investigate those ruins, yeah? You can go with us. I uh, think so, yeah. At the very first mention of me being Gibbons, suddenly and jerkingly as Mario approaches and kind of grasps onto his right shoulder with two arms and is like, yes, 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 yes. Okay. All right, all right. I already said you could. Them. Yes, yes, right, right, right. Yes, believe, yes. Yes, yes, believe. He just kind of looks over to Yoshi and is like, is this normal around here? I do not know. He seems quite flighty. Yes, believe, believe. This touch of. Do you, do you need a paper bag to breathe into? Thank God, thank God, that bless me, I'm so alive. Okay. Yes, I found it strange that there was no post on the board about the temple. We were told there was going to we were told there was going to be a bounty by a merchant. I wonder if you would know of him. A Wheaton of some kind. Then it's odd that he did... Go on. So are you going to pay us to clear it out? Or are you doing it for free? Well, at any rate, it's not safe to have those people hanging around the town. Somebody could get hurt. In another place. We should go. He turns to, to Mario and Felix and Bushy. He makes eye contact with each one of them. He says, Go to the ruins. Sooner rather than later. It's night time, so. I'd rather, yeah. <laughs> and one one thing before you go, you you wouldn't happen to have any uh, spaghetti or uh, maybe some pasta primavera? Ah, uh, oh well, never hurts to ask. Roger. <laughs> it, it it's hard because I I don't I don't want to interrupt anybody. Uh, I don't know who's gonna talk. 
Jokes on me you, and, Gibbons uh, is passed out, as far as you can tell. Me and Gibbons will take a room, Mario and Yoshi take a room, and then the thief stays outside. I, I think we should uh, potentially set a guard of some kind over Gibbons. Yeah, the thief will stay watch. I think we should potentially send a trustworthy guard. To keep an eye on I'm happy to go, unless you want to go yourself. Oh, I'm happy to take your first watch. I'll take the one after yours. So, um, at least for the night, uh, Gibbons is thoroughly and physically and so he just about any situation that is less than terrifying will result in him passing out so you throw him in a room I would take each shift All right. Starting right off, aren't we? Well, that was fun. Yeah. Especially the part where I ruined a guy's life. <laughs> well, yeah. Mm. I mean, they were, they were trying to stab the guy. <laughs> No, I had fun. I had fun. It's nice to actually crit when I attack. That never happens normally. Was... I get replayable characters. Oh, yeah, no, I've got Hengist at this level. Level 4, but it is nice to play because I... I think I DM'd like seven days in a row or something at one point, and I just haven't. I'm tired of DMing it. <laughs> and I did not expect myself to be like the center plot point of this entire thing. <laughs> James goddamn Fosfor. Well, excuse me? I mean, it's three at this point. All of my characters are incredibly convincing and compelling, but... <laughs> right, but... Okay, you want to know how I started, like, the idea of this character off was? No, it, yes, it was Maracas, but uh, he was supposed to be an, an accountant for some a guild, and uh, his his deal was he was an accountant, and he had confronted his boss on some kind of raise or some kind of implorable notion of like tax evasion, and his boss revealed himself to be a demon, and so he fled in some sort of catastrophe and like int base but then i realized i was shit when i wanted to do this like side arc of like religion thing and i had too many things and like one character and like, ah and then when i started writing the character it totally changed as well it's not a good story but anyways That's good to hear. So I'm, I'm not entirely sure how uh, landmark works. 
Okay. There, ready. Um, just as far as like scheduling is concerned, the best days for me, um, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Those are just like the most open days I have. We're going to schedule something that it starts around this time. If we started today, pretty much any day of the week is fine. Unless there's some outstanding schedule or date or whatever. Also props for the Assassin's Creed music. Uh, age so... 15, what time zone? You see? Okay. What would have happened if we did kill him? Killed Brian? Oh, okay. He's one of those characters. Uh... <laughs> I was very tempted to action 